So there's an option called company branding. There's an option get free trial right now for premium AD. And I'm taking a free trial for a premium P2. This is under license for 30 days is allowed by default with the premium P2. And this premium P2 I'll try to assign to a user. And before this, first users. So typically, as I said, all my on-premises user come to the Azure. But we need one user mandatory here that will be a global admin so that he manage my Azure Active Directory. So my name is, say, global, global admin at the rate on Microsoft.com. This will be my full credential for my global admin. Profile will be basic things, but we need to assign a directory role global admin. This is the only one user we need. Rest all user will come from on-prem and this will be my password. And first time when you try, it asks me to reset this password. That's called global admin. I click on this global admin. I have to assign usage location, which is mandatory. You are part of which country. Usage location, because when we try to assign a P2 license, it asks you to assign the license. It asks you to assign this usage location. So that's called the first part. Second part is when I go to when I go to licenses. So I have one product available now. And I try to assign this P2 to my users. So it's a user level license. Whatever the number of users you have, you have to assign those to a users. So I have only one user right now, which is a global admin. And I'm trying to assign that premium P2 to that global admin. So now this user have P2 functionalities, cell password reset and all those things what we discussed, you know. And so that's why you so you see now after this refresh. Global admin license is assigned. After this refresh, you get to know like one assign. It's just like a refresh. That's first thing. And now second thing, let's prepare something for the on-prem. On-prem environment. So I have a couple of my on-prem VM is available. So I'll reset this. I'll connect this VM on-prem AD. This is my on-prem VM. So for for understanding better purpose, I'll reset this VM with a new VM, like a fresh VM. So will you will get you know what is called like a like a fresh VM as a reset. And then I'll create my on-prem environment upfront. So that you'll get a better clarity.
So in this case, I'll make one on-prem name is cop.com and try to add a couple of users and those users I'll try to sync from my on-premises to Azure. So this is my fresh VM. I'll give my on-prem credential. Same IP and same DNS like on-prem and make my first domain controller for my company. <clears throat> so I'll do, while creating this, let me talk about that basic steps, what we need to configure Azure AD Connect. We need two credentials, on-premises. This, this, this machine credential we need, plus Azure AD Global Admin. So we need to reset the Global Admin default password. Then only Global Admin really works in, in reality. Otherwise, default password is not accepting, you know, because default is default. So while configuring this on-prem machine, I'll try to reset the global admin password. Like a, you know, first time password. So, so this is my fresh VM for on-prem AD. 